Uh, what is the equivalent of girls going to the bathroom for guys? You know how girls always get up to go to the bathroom together. What do guys do together? Um, somebody wrote in golf. Yeah, that's golfing. Uh, we were just talking to Matt about working on his van. Yeah, people do that. Um, Brian says one guy stands outside the honey hut to make sure other friends don't tip it over. Oh, right. An old military trick. Well, okay, that's literally talk, like it's the same thing as going to the bathroom together. I think we were just thinking, like, what do guys do together? Uh, you know what Seth does? Seth, he goes down the park. With other guys? Yeah, he sits there and he talks to other guys. I mean, he talks to people of the community. I mean, I see him. Whenever I take my kids to that park, he's always there, okay? Now, I don't go to the park every day, but I go to the park eh, when I was living up there. Probably once a week and every right. single every single time. Every single time. Once a week. A hundred uh-huh. times I went to the park and I would say ninety of those hundred times he's at the park talking to people. Well he's social I mean you know, the awesome. funny thing is I, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. I'm just like, gosh, man. He's not that here. social here though. All the time. But he's very social when he's when in his own neighborhood. Yeah, he's good. not social with people that he works with, but uh people in the community. Strangers. Yeah. Yes, of course. You know, it's funny because in California well, you know, uh, golf, uh, frisbee golf is, is a big thing. Um, frisbee golf's a good one. Right? Yeah. But, you know, I, I, as I look on my, uh, on my Facebook feed this morning and I'm seeing some of my friends that live up in, uh, in Idaho and Washington in the Northwest shooting guns. Uh, that's, that's something that, uh, a lot of my friends yeah. do with other guys. They go shoot guns and they compare their guns. Yeah. It's almost like when you were a kid and you had model cars or you had, um, what else? What, what do kids have? Baseball cards. You know, uh, you would compare your baseball cards. Now, as I see a lot of my friends up there, they they shoot guns. A Twisted Glaze fan wrote in shoot guns as well. So that happens here in California as well. Uh, let's see here. We had a lot of people write stuff in. By the way, you can text. You can call 805-543-3693 uh, if you want to contribute at any time. You want to jump. Be a part of the conversation. And uh, well, but just a lot of inappropriate things. How about fantasy football? Yeah, that's a good one, right? Yeah, fantasy football is a good one. But I mean, girls play fantasy. Women play fantasy right, football but, too, I mean, right? It's like you know, it's, it's. I don't know any of it. I only know our, one. Our league doesn't do it, but it's very common for um, like people to meet up and have uh, watch parties for the fantasy football. Uh, Tierra says strip clubs. Guys go to strip clubs together. Around here, I don't know where that is. I Her guess. Her name's Tierra. Huh? <laughs> Her name is Tierra. She would know. She would know. <laughs> yes, she probably would. All right, we'll be right back. You can let us know, 805-543-3693, or hit us up on uh, the social networks. We're at Jeff and Jeremy, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Central Coast's home for classic rock. This is our art. This is our work. We are not artists, but we deal with the art. 3.3 KZOZ Rock. I have to bring this on the air. This is too funny to me. This is 2020, and our new intern cannot text message right now because he has a, has an issue with his Android phone. Well, you got 20 seconds of the story. I know what happened. He okay, bought, well, I want to hear the he whole bought, story. He bought an unlocked phone. and What does that mean? That means you buy a phone from a third party because you get a screaming deal on it. Well, You, get you a, mean like on Craigslist or something? Yes. Okay. Or on eBay. Or or marketplace or whatever. That. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then you have to get it figured out <laughs> along the way. That just doesn't because you put the SIM card in, and the SIM card doesn't work, and then you know oh, it's got yeah. an SD card situation, okay. and that doesn't work. So, oh it, my god, it, it just sounds like it's it's brutal. Yeah, when you can go get well, you know, I, he's a kid, he's in college. I'm I I don't know, I, but it just seems like you can go and get a phone anywhere and not even have to pay for the phone. I realize a lot of the new fancy phones are expensive, but the, you bought a phone, you didn't have to pay for your phone, did you? Um, yeah, no, I, yeah. I was like, it was like two hundred dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. What happened to the day when they used to give you a phone? I guess they used to be really cheap. I back love then. those days. What happened to them? I mean, they used to give you a phone. I know. They're like, give you a phone, we'll lock you in the contract. Unlimited data. What now happened to unlimited like, we're gonna, data? We're going to sell you the phone, and we're going to lock you into a contract. <laughs> My buddy, uh, we're out fishing yesterday, and we're, I'm, you know, he's a Chargers fan, and so you know, he's watching the game on his phone, and I'm like. Dude, that's that's gonna chew up a lot of days. I had limited data. I'm like, who are you with? He goes, I'm with Sprint. He's got better service out there than I do. I'm with AT and T. 
I'm like, I know I'm paying more for AT and T. I know you get the perks more with Sprint because they're a smaller uh, cell phone place. It's like, I think I need to rethink this. Uh, this this well, the AT and T relationship. You know what? I can't because I've got another year with them because. Um, you bought the phone. I bought the new yeah. iPhone, and I got the big time one, and they I got fifty percent off of it. Hence the reason why they won't give you those those. But phones I had to sign up anymore. for two hundred <laughs> two years. There's your answer right there, Jeremy. That's why they don't give you the phones for free anymore, because they get you locked into that contract. They know they're going to keep you around. And the service isn't the best. I mean, God, everybody seems like they got better service than me. I'm like trying to listen to the Seahawk game yesterday, and it's got 4G, four G, four three out of four bars, and it's buffering. I'm like, how does that make any sense? This is four G almost full signal, buffering, buffering, buffering. It drives me nuts. But I can't believe. So I don't understand. I guess when you have an Android phone, you have to have a special app to get text messages. It just doesn't no, come with your no, phone. No, 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 no. It, it does. It does. It's just. It's just the SIM card has to talk. So you have to get the SIM card situation figured out. And he's having an issue with that. Is this a joke? Johnny says he's buying a new phone. He says we need to look it up. It's called the Doogie S55. I don't know. I'm not into. See, here's the thing. I know some people too. Uh, this really, the, there's really smart people out there, and they choose to have droids because you can manipulate the phone more than an iPhone. iPhones you can't manipulate. They make this thing so a five year old can use it, or a, a 95 year old can use it, and then everybody in between. And depending on how you know complicated and you know sophisticated you want to get with the phone, that you can download apps and things like that. And there's things you can do with it. But for the most part, people that really want to, that are smart, that want to manipulate their phone and really research and, and do stuff on droids because you have a lot more freedoms with them. Yes, they're not as secure. That is not you. You don't do anything fancy with your phone. I mean, you bought the most basic phone. Send my fantasy that when you, lineup. Then I mean, when you, <laughs> well, that's not, that's not fancy. <laughs> Everybody, else, Everybody does that. What else do you need to be able to do? I mean, you Christ. set that phone down sometimes and it turns off. I know. Drives me crazy if I set it down too hard. But that's from dropping it and all that stuff. And where I get really frustrated with phones is my mom. You know, your parents, it's tough because I want her just to have an iPhone. She has a droid. But now she's finally learned how to use her droid, and I don't want to throw a kink in yeah. her. But I feel, I feel like, you know, if you're going to get a phone for a parent or a kid, an iPhone is a good way to go because they're very easy to use. Um, but I don't know. Okay. So uh, just... He's like, yeah, my. Right, do you want to start a GoFundMe account for the uh, intern to have uh, uh, some, so we can buy him an iPhone, so he can text message you? No, I don't think that's fair. I, think really, I don't think I don't. I want to ask other people for donations. I, I mean, think that's, you're that's really, really upset not. at the fact that you can't text. I don't like it. Messages. I really don't. I that's my number one form of communication. Yeah, and when he it's told quick, him, easy. I, I when don't. He, when he's the like, intern can you told email Jeremy me? He couldn't text message him. Jeremy like b- almost blew his lid. But the funny thing about it is. Like, maybe he doesn't want to be text messaged hands, by you. Uh, head in, what is it, face and hands? Hands in the face? I mean, it's just like... Maybe he doesn't like, want to be text messaged he's by like, you. Well, no, this is this is a job where we need instant communication. It's yeah. like, well, you email me. It's, it's like, answer. oh, God, emailed. You may never. I mean, you may not get back to me for hours. You get, you get what we need something quick, right now. You get what you pay for in this But, moment. I mean, I'm... I'm I mean, listen, come on. I'm trying to be more tolerant in my, my older age. I'm going to be 45 soon. And I'm trying to you know, have more patience. Because so, I kind of half think that it's an excuse because he doesn't want to have to text message you. Would it have been better if he, he came? He just up? met me. How does he know? I mean, he doesn't know anything about me. Right, he, exactly. I, that's, why, that's why he doesn't want to text. You don't just text message people you just met. Get on those like that's that's why not because that's intimate. Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's the most casual form of communication is a text. Maybe just some intimate is talking. Maybe just some. He's like, I don't want this guy texting me all the time. I'm just going to tell him I can't get text messages. See how that goes. I just also think it's funny that he's younger. I mean, he's, what, 27 years old? He's 20 years under, younger than us. And, you know, I call him, and we're on the phone. He's like, oh, I'm in the Google meeting. Do you want to just jump on that? I'm like, no, we're right here right now. We're in the Google meeting. So he's good. He's proficient with Google meeting, but not with the text message. <laughs> <Yeah>. he... <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to reiterate uh, this again, group. okay? Yes, Maybe I'm, yes. he does not want to text message you, and you can't just be like forcing yourself onto people and be like okay what's your number Are you well, be it's to really not about you? me texting him it's more about if he has a question because he's just learning you. that he needs to maybe, like, get a hold of me he maybe, can ask a question maybe he'll call you 
Well, I can't. I can't talk to him all the time. <laughs> See, uh, you can't text I'm him. Very all busy. The, he probably says, "Yeah, I don't want to get text <laughs> messages all the time from you." Oh my gosh. So yesterday, if you were watching the Rams and the Giants after the game, you saw the two teams meet at midfield, and there was a skerfuffle, as they like to call it. Yeah. And um, last night, I, you know, it was the game's over. So you, depending on what feed you were watching of it, you know, you may have saw saw nothing, or maybe you saw. Lots of uh, lots of it uh, going on. I didn't see any of it, but you you texted me about it, and you were asking me, and I was like, I, have, I hadn't seen it. So apparently, Jalen Ramsey and Golden Tate have a beef, okay? And the Jalen Ramsey-Golden Tate beef is centered around Golden Tate's sister because Jalen Ramsey once dated and impregnated Golden Tate's sister, and he is the father to Golden Tate's two nieces. Um, Ramsey is. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey is. So there's Jalen Ramsey and Golden Tate. Now, apparently, James Jalen Ramsey left Golden Tate's sister during the pregnancy, during a pregnancy, okay. just recently. So I don't know. It's not if, a very stand-up thing I don't, thing I don't know do, if this it? is the third one on the way or <laughs> that she had twins with Jalen Ramsey. I don't know. So here's the thing. Golden Tate plays for the Bills. Uh, Jalen Ramsey plays Golden for Tate the... Golden Tate plays for the Giants. I'm sorry, the Giants. Yes. The Giants. Wrong New York team. And uh, Ramsey plays for Rams. the uh, Rams. Right there in his name, Ramsey. And he ta- he tackles... Golden Tate yesterday. Well, yeah, that was during the game, and nothing happened during the game. But after the game, they all right. Met, but it was it was a, it was a pretty good hit. Oh, it was. He laid he, he laid him up. He laid some. I mean, it, it would be a highlight hit. Yes, it definitely lifted him up off of his feet, drove him down into the ground. Um, all that stuff. It was a good hit. Um, in football terms, but I'm just thinking. And then after the game, there was a, they, they got into a fight on the yeah, field. Yeah, and and everybody on the teams were fighting each other, and it was it was nuts. But those two were the main the main uh, fighters Culprits. in that one. Um, the interesting thing of this is, like, why would anybody ever get involved with a football player? I mean. Come on. Are football players worse than basketball or baseball players? I, don't, or I, I think so. Any other sport? I think so. I mean, the golden boy of football did the same exact thing that Jalen Ramsey did. And that's Tom Brady. Remember? He no, left, remind he me. Bridget Moynihan during pregnancy to go be with Giselle Bunchen. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yes. He has a son with Bridget Moynihan. <laughs> She, what, that, what, what is she? He actress? left while she was pregnant. This is a, this is a thing that NFL players do. Whether it's Tom Brady, whether it's Jay you don't Brady. know the story, you don't know the history. There might be a reason for it. Maybe she whatever, cheated on him. Whatever the re- come on. I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. I'm just saying. Before you hear both sides, I'm just saying. But I also know that you know athletes get a bad reputation because just like in every other profession, there's good and bad people. True. So. True. And, and the and the bad ones always outshine the good ones. But before people start piling on Jalen Ramsey for being a dirtbag, just remember what Tom Brady did, because he did the exact just same Just remember thing. what Golden Tate did. He slept with Russell Wilson's wife <laughs> while they were married. That's rumor. No. That is rumor. That is a fact. That is rumor. <laughs> that is just rumor. Okay, well, I don't have any evidence, but that is pretty much what everybody says in Seattle. That's why Golden Tate was no, is no longer a Seahawk. He was that, shipped off. The drama follows Golden Tate wherever he goes when he tried to break into the donut shop after being drafted by the Seattle Seahawks and said, no, nah, it's cool, I'm, I'm, a, I'm with the Seahawks, and he just took some donuts. Russell Wilson's wife from college, they've been together forever. Uh-huh. 
I mean, he, everybody, it all worked out, but that was a lot of pain. We don't know. Okay, you're right. I don't have facts. I wasn't there, but that's what people say. And then, and then look how that screwed his career. He could have really been a great Ooh. receiver in Seattle. Golden Tate. He's a great receiver everywhere yeah, he goes. But he goes to the Jets and then he goes, where's he at now? The Giants? Well, I mean, he come was, on. No, he went to the, he went to the Lions. The, the Lions. Some success, then the Jets. The Lions. Now he's with the Giants. But he was with the Jets, wasn't no, he? He was never with, he's the, never with the Jets. Oh. Seattle, Detroit, New York. Okay. Golden Tate. And he's getting up there in age. So, I mean, you know, he's at the end of his career. That's just the way it is. You don't sleep with the quarterback's wife. And think you're going to get away with that. I don't care how good you think you are. Get, that's the problem with athletes, too. And I'm sorry. I'm not trying to pick on athletes. And it's not just athletes that have ego issues. But, you know, people that get egos. I shouldn't just say athletes. Let me, let me backtrack. People with ego issues. They just they can't get out of their own way. Do you think Russell Wilson calls Jalen Ramsey today and says, hey, man, thanks a lot? <laughs> If my bedroom ever becomes a crime scene, I hope the detectives know the difference between signs of a struggle and me just getting up like every other morning. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ.